Does your child have a red bump on the skin? Well, it might be an hemangioma. Hemangioma is a common vascular birthmark that is made up of extra blood vessels in the skin. It is benign, meaning it is a non-cancerous growth. In this video, we will talk about infantile hemangioma, what are the different types, how do doctors diagnose it, and what are the different treatment options for your child, as well as what complications might arise. Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to empower you moms and dads so you can raise happy and healthy kids. Hemangiomas Infantile hemangioma is made up of blood vessels that form incorrectly and multiply more than they should. These blood vessels receive signals that they need to grow rapidly in baby's early life. Most of infantile hemangiomas appear at birth or within baby's first week, and these are more commonly found in girls than in boys and also more commonly found in Caucasian children. You might ask, does it get bigger? Does it ever go away? Well, the natural history of hemangioma is that in baby's first five months, the hemangioma grows rapidly. This is known as the proliferative or growth phase. Most babies, by about the time that they are three months old, nearly 80% of the maximum size of the hemangioma has been reached. Then, in most cases, they eventually stop growing and shrink by baby's first birthday. This is known as the involution phase. And most hemangiomas shrink by the time your child is three and a half to four years old, and later might leave a scar or extra blood vessels. Hemangiomas may occur anywhere in the body. Some kids may even have more than one. There are three types of hemangiomas. The first type is the superficial hemangioma, which first appears flat and later become bright red with a raised surface. The next and second type is the deep hemangioma, which is found under the skin, and it has a bluish purple color with a smooth surface. And the last type is a mixed hemangioma, with both components of superficial and deep. How to tell if your child has a hemangioma? Well, doctors can diagnose hemangioma by looking at your child's skin and can immediately tell if your child has a hemangioma or not. Sometimes, the diagnosis is not clear to your doctor and might request for an ultrasound scan or an MRI. This is because some hemangiomas might be deep in the skin, which is much harder to diagnose. As the hemangioma grows quickly in the proliferative phase while your child is from zero going to one years of age, it is much easier to diagnose. Are you expecting a baby? Well, congrats, mom and dad. How much better life can be when, upon the arrival of your baby, you immediately feel confident about breastfeeding? And how do you get some rest? How to understand your baby's sleep schedule? Or when should you worry and call the doctor? How to soothe a crying fuzzy baby? Well, I've developed an online training video series known as the 5 Newborn Care Strategies. Do check that out in the description section. How is a hemangioma treated? Well, first, a team might be involved to treat your child's hemangioma, and this is composed of your child's pediatrician, dermatologist, sometimes a hematologist, or a surgeon. Most hemangiomas would not need any treatment, but would need to be monitored by your pediatrician or dermatologist. In your child's first year, where the hemangioma is in the proliferative phase, your child may need to be checked more frequently. The number of visits would depend on the size of the hemangioma, where is it located, and if it is causing any problems. Your child's hemangioma may need treatment if for one, the skin breaks down and there is an open sore. Another, if the hemangioma is infected, especially those in the diaper area. Also, if the hemangioma is causing problems in your child's 
vision, breathing, hearing, eating, and for changes in the diaper. And lastly, if the hemangioma is very large or for cosmetic concerns such as if the hemangioma is found in the face. Your doctor will talk to you about the best treatment option for your child's hemangioma. One treatment option is topical treatment or treatment that is applied on the skin directly on your child's hemangioma. An example of topical treatment are topical beta blockers and its effect is to lighten and slow the growth of the hemangioma. It is most especially given to those with small hemangiomas and superficial hemangiomas as well. Another treatment uh, topical option are topical antibiotics. When there are open sores in your child's hemangioma, if there is a concern for infection. Another treatment option for your child's hemangioma are oral medicines, which are taken by mouth. If this is the option, your child may need to be watched closely for side effects, and your child may need testing before starting the medication. Propanolol is the first-line treatment for hemangioma. Another treatment option is surgery to remove the growth. This is considered when the hemangioma has stopped growing or other treatment options have failed. And lastly, another treatment option is by the use of lasers to lighten the appearance of the hemangioma. You would also need to watch out for complications that might arise from your child's hemangioma. And the most common complication is ulceration, where an ulcer or a sore develops, and this is painful for your child and would need immediate treatment. Other complications that might arise would depend on the location of the hemangioma, where, for example, vision is affected if the hemangioma is near the eye, if there might be feeding difficulties when hemangioma is around the mouth, or breathing problems when hemangioma is near your child's airway, or problems with diapering if your child's hemangioma is in the diaper area. Call your doctor right away if you're worried that your child's hemangioma might be infected and signs of an infection include pus, redness, pain in the area, if your child has a fever, or if there's oozing skin or the skin has broken down, which means that there is ulceration. Also worry if your child might have side effects from the medication such as being fuzzy, your child is appearing drowsy, child is refusing to eat, if you note any uh, feeding difficulties or fever. Hey, if you like this video, watch my next video where I teach you about other child health problems.